Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna head on over to desktop mode. And once here, we're gonna run Dolphin, the file manager, not the emulator. And we are going to split the screen into, into two. So what we're gonna do is on the right-hand side, we're gonna put our SD card. On the left-hand side, we're gonna put our home folder. Now, I already have a games folder designated in my SD card. I don't have one on my internal storage. So create a games folder. If you don't already have a centralized gaming uh, storage location, create a new folder. So the reason we're doing this is we don't want the game installing inside the Proton Prefix with the launcher and everything. We want the game external. There's a billion reasons why you want to do this, but for the sake of argument, choose a location, create a games folder, and we'll be good to go. All right, next up, you want to make sure that you have show hidden files turned on here underneath the hamburger menu, and we do. Over here on the left, we are going to navigate to where the compat data folder is. Now, if you've already got compat data on your places list on the left, because you watched my amazing dolphin tricks and tips video, you won't have to do this. But essentially, we're gonna go into dot local, share, Steam, Steam apps, and there's the compat data folder. So go ahead and right click on compat data, select add to places. That's gonna make a shortcut to this location on the menu on the left. That way we can get to it quickly and easily because we are gonna need to interact with this as part of this tutorial. So there you go. So now you can always get back to Compat Data. All right, next up, we're gonna open up our favorite web browser and we are going to do a quick search for the game name. Unless you already happen to know the URL. Zenless Zero. And there we go, the official site. And this, this screen changes from time to time, this download screen, I don't know why. Um, but you're gonna look for a big button that says download now. In this case, it's on the top right. One time I looked at it, it was in the bottom right. So there you go. We're gonna go ahead and select download now. And we are actually going to save it to the downloads folder. So make sure you're in the downloads folder there on the left and save the EXE. Great, that was really, really small. We are so not done yet. All right, next up, we are gonna go ahead and launch Steam. So we're gonna to go to our library. We're gonna add a game, add a non-Steam game, and browse. We're gonna find that EXE right there and hit open. And now we're gonna filter on Zen. There we go. And you'll select it and head on over to the gear. Right now it won't run because it's a Windows game and it's not set up to run that way. So we're gonna to go to compatibility, force the use, and we're gonna use Proton Experimental. This could change in the future, but we're gonna start there. And we're gonna hit play. So what we're actually launching is the launchers installer, which isn't super useful, but it needs to be done. I'm not gonna clip a lot of this out because I want you guys to see how long it takes so you don't think, oh, well, you know, he did his and he hit play and it was right up there and right away. But when I do it, it takes like 30 seconds. I want you guys to see the 30 second delay. Okay, there you go. So now well, you're not really installing the game. You're installing the launcher. Okay. And again, mouse and keyboard highly recommended. We're gonna change our location for the install. Then we're gonna hop over to where our, our compat data folder is. Now you see there's a brand new one down here just now. This is what's holding the launcher or will be holding the launcher in a minute. So we are going to go into the drive C and we're gonna left drag the games folder from either our internal storage or from our external storage, wherever you decide you want it to be. We're gonna left drag it over to the left side and select link here. Now we have a shortcut inside the Proton Prefix that points to a centralized location on the SD card. So we're gonna change it and we're gonna change it to C Games. Great, pretty straightforward. And we don't need a, a desktop launcher. We certainly don't need it to auto launch at startup. That's for Windows. And of course you have to agree to sell your soul and let them harvest all your data and all that good stuff as per 
par for the course with these games. All right, so now what it's doing, you're, you're thinking, oh, wow, wow, it really installed the game quick. Yeah, no, it's installing the launcher really, really quick. And even that's not really, really quick, as you can see. Okay, so eventually it finishes. There's some redistributions that have to be installed. Um, it's nice that they included those so we didn't have to do them ourselves. So that's something. Now it says finish and launch. We don't want to launch right now. We just want to finish. So we're just going to close the window. Now inside of your, of your games folder, which is really linked, remember, over to your SD card, we're going to find the launcher EXE and copy the location. Now we're going to head back to our Steam entry, this whole big guy right here that used to run the installer's installer. We're going to paste that location into the target and make sure you put double quotes at the beginning and at the end. Then copy it and paste it into the start end, but remove the words launcher.exe at the end. Basically, we're telling it, here's the exe, here's where to start it. And we'll go ahead and rename it for good measure. We're already here. We might as well make it into something else because it really isn't the installer anymore. It's the launcher. Okay, so let's start it up. Now, again, you'd be forgiven for thinking maybe something was going wrong here because it's because it's taking forever and, uh, you know, you don't see anything, but that's okay. If you keep an eye out in the bottom right, you will eventually see a flicker of the actual launcher appear. And then a few moments later, it will appear in front of you. In gaming mode, this is a little bit quicker, especially after you've done all the install and everything. Oh, now we're actually ready to get the game. Yeah, we haven't done any, we haven't even started downloading the game yet. So it's going to put it inside that C games folder, which is exactly where we want it to be because that is on our micro SD card sim linked into the Proton prefix. So if this launcher blows up and you have to uninstall and reinstall the launcher, your game files are safe. That's why we do this along with making sure that there's no restriction in terms of file size or anything else. Now, this game took forever to install, one hour, 21 minutes. And you're thinking, oh my God, that took forever. Now I can start the game. Um, kind of. <laughs> it, this took forever. Uh, I, I was thinking about leaving it all in so you guys had to suffer like I did, but uh, I figured in this case, we'd go ahead and trim it up. All right, so we don't actually wanna run it from here. We, it's time to go to game mode now. We've got the game installed. We got the launcher installed. We got the basic running done. Let's go ahead and launch from game mode because that's where you're probably gonna be launching it from anyway. So again, you'll launch it from here. It'll take a moment or two. And again, I'm gonna leave this in because I want you guys to see how long it takes. So you know that something's not wrong on your end, just be patient and there you go. Now you cannot use the controller. You'll need to use the touch screen or a mouse and we'll start it up. And again, Nothing cut out. For this part, you get to suffer like G did. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, man, I'm really close to playing the game now. There's like the, uh, the title screen. Well, you're not. You're about 20 minutes away from playing the game, if you're lucky. So we're gonna go ahead and select controller which is nice. I mean, it's nice that it has built-in controller support. And here we go. Login. Okay, I don't have a login, so I had to make one. It took me like 20 minutes because you can't log into Google through the Steam Deck. I had to go to the website, do a whole bunch of hokey pokey. Hopefully you already have it. So once you actually have a successful account, you'll have to agree to let them exploit your data for money, and then you're allowed to start playing. So you think you have to play the game. Wrong, 12 more minutes of downloading. That's right, you get to do 12 more minutes of downloading and configuration and yada, da da da. Just when I thought this video was over, it was another 15 or 20 minutes. All right, so now you have to sit through the intro, but I sat through the intro once, quit, so that I could show you that once you watch the intro once, you can skip it because it's like never ending. I know some of you love this stuff. I just wanted to get to the game and make sure that it worked, but I had to sit here and go through, you know, all the expository. I didn't want that. I just wanted to get to the game. Well, finally, I got to get to the game just to make sure that it ran. And there we are. Well, listen, it was a long road. Thanks for sticking with it. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. You guys know what to do. 
Whew. Please leave a comment down below if this was successful for you. All right, check out some of these other videos while you wait the two hours for your game to install. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks for watching. Take care.